The KG Lifestyle. Concerning my problem, that when I go back home, I'll deal with my problem in a different way. So Paul is saying here tonight, I could spend my time praying for myself, but I understand a fundamental principle that many times God will put you in these predicaments so that you will learn how to pray for other people. What motivates Paul to pray for other people? He says this in verse 3 and 4. Look at what he says. He says, I thank my God every time I remember you. He says, in all of my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of the partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. He says, I'm praying for you every time I think of you. And then Paul moves on. He says, I'm praying for you. Also in verse 8, he said, because God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And in my prayers, he says, that your love may abound more and more. Paul is saying, what motivates me to pray tonight is that I love you. Love and compassion will make you pray for other people. Paul is writing to the Philippian church tonight. And I need you to hang out homiletically here because you need to get this. Paul is writing and he's saying what I need the Philippian church to do tonight is to grow in love. You can find some things about my life and say that's a shame. But if I put your life under microscopic view, I can find some stuff in life that says you're a shame. Because all of us have sinned. I wish I had a purpose to talk to you. All of us have sinned. And come short of the glory of God. How do you think people who've been married for 50 years end up in divorce court? Because the perspective and the performance that folk used to be able to do can't do no more. Pastor, she don't treat me the way she used to. He don't take me out the way he used to. He don't pay attention to me the way he used to. Because we predicate our love based on performance. But ain't it good to know tonight that despite the fact that you ain't always treated God the same way you used to treat God when you joined the church and walked out, I wish I had a church to talk to. Y'all don't act like I'm not talking to y'all tonight. You changed the way you treat God. But God ain't changed the way he treats you. Give you a whole day. You go through the whole day, work the whole day. Put shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, roof over your head, food on your table. Mm. Gave you a job to go to. Mm. Gave you a whole day. And then instead yeah. of you stopping by the bedside on your way in the bed, you just jump in the bed and not tell him good night. But he didn't treat you the same way. Although you went to bed and didn't say good night, you better be glad and you ought to shout that he woke you up and said good night. Yeah. most of the time who cooked the food that was on your plate. You don't know if they washed their hands, if they were clean. You could have had a coli by now. But thanks be to God Amen. that God covered you and kept you despite the fact that you didn't even know who prepared that food for you. Amen. Because somebody else sat down at a table and ate and what they ate made them sick. But it didn't make you sick and you ought to thank God because the only reason you've been preserved and protected Yeah, exactly. Same thing here. Oh. I'm freezing. My schniss comes off. <laughs> Take me back to Jamaica and Haiti. Hey! Sock by say. Nabule! Sock by say. Nabule! He ain't sound some tea, my dog. That was actually one of our greetings from one of our profiles. Oh, okay. That sermon was a mate's balls. <laughs> it was really good. Really, really good. Something that. I need to remind myself to do every day. Love unconditionally. Love like God loves us. At least try to. Here, I'm gonna put this here. I was trying to think of anyone. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
anyone I loved that way. Like, do I love anyone that way already? Like, or am I really a conditional lover? And I think I've been a pretty conditional lover. <laughs> that sounds so weird, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Like, I love with conditions, and like you said, you love with expectations and prerequisites and all kinds of stuff, but that's not the way we're supposed to love. And so, I think I, I, I definitely had to think back and I definitely remember talking to my brother about this because, you know, a while ago he would get frustrated with just life in general and whatever it was, it was like just mess. And I will remember having this specific conversation with him about a year and a half or maybe two years ago. And it was about loving him and the fact that he could do nothing to make me not care. Like, he didn't understand, like, why do you care? It doesn't matter. Why do you care? Why does he care? I care because I love you and that's not going to change. And I remember having that converse, conversation with him. And that's the only time that and then thinking of my mom, like, we were not on good terms for a very long time because of things in my childhood and I had to forgive her. I had to um, not just say I forgave her, but really forgive her and move on. And when I was able to do that and she was able to forgive me for things as well, then I think that's when I started loving her unconditionally. Like she could do whatever she wants or say whatever she wants. I'm not gonna love her any less. Outside of my family, I can't say that I love unconditionally. I'm not very good at loving without conditions. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, my love language, as you guys know, if you've been watching me, hey, Bubba's, you figured out there's water on there, huh? You want some food? Go get some food. Yummy, 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 tummy. What was I saying? Oh, my love language is acts of service, so I've always been the type of person to be like, but what have you done for me lately? <laughs> um, if you haven't done anything for me, you don't love me. You know what I mean? And so that's, that's still relevant. It's not like this is completely irrelevant now that I'm going to focus on loving with agape love, but I'm just going to be more aware of how I'm loving and how I'm choosing to love. Who I'm choosing to love, how I'm choosing to love, because he did, the pastor did touch on, you know, being smart about it. You just can't love everybody the same way. You have to love, love people differently and all of that. But at the same time, I don't think I've ever done that. I think I've always been the type of person who's, what have you done for me? What what or you know what have you done in general like i'm not gonna love the ugly parts about you you know and leveraging that ag against the good parts about someone like i go i don't i'm so caught subconsciously do that i don't want to say you know i don't think i sit down and i'm like this this and this i don't think like that but subconsciously that is just the way i've always thought of things and I think I need to focus more on love. Not to say that that's not a bad thing to do. You know, measure people's character by their actions. That's definitely not something you shouldn't, you should stop doing. At least for me, I don't think I should stop doing that. But, um, you know, recognizing who they are, regardless of what they do, and loving them anyways. Because love doesn't really have anything to do with what have you done for me? What are you doing in your life? What, you know what I mean? Like, it's just love. You're just loving them, period. No matter who they are, what they're doing, and how they're doing it. You just love them, period. The sun is shining. It's gonna be a good day.
have to say I absolutely love this tracker guy thing. He's um, he like did all this different stuff while I was I'm waiting on my pizza to get here. It's on the way, and it like tells you like who's who did it, who made it, what time. So about 15 or 10 minutes ago, they left with my pizza. It's so cool. I really like this thingy. I really don't like to order pizza, but um, today was rough. It still is. It's going in and out. Um, it's time! And earlier today was like the worst. I can't remember. It's been a long time since they've been that bad. It was a mess. And um, I was okay for a while. And I was like, oh, I'm good. You know, it was just regular. Like, okay, these are mild. I can do this. But those ones earlier, woo, people, I was rocking in my seat. Like, it was bad at work today. And I really wanted to leave early, but then I started feeling better. So I stayed till 4.30. And then um, I got home and I was like doing my taxes and everything and cleaning and all that stuff you do when time comes around. So I did that and then it came back right when I was like getting ready to figure out what I was going to eat. Rough. Literally it was hard to breathe and I think it's because I'm hungry. My levels of whatever are low. I need to really figure out what I need to do for vitamins because this is not okay at all. At all. <laughs> so I ordered pizza. I really don't, didn't want to and I've been drinking tea. So the pizza will get here soon. Like my back is aching right now. It's so hard to even stand up. Um, but you know, this is, this is what we have to deal with us women. So I'm doing that and I really feel bad for not editing the vlogs. I do feel bad, um, but I'm, I'm not gonna apologize for not pushing myself and doing them because I, I would push myself over the limit. I have too many other responsibilities and jobs that I have right now in addition to my full time job projects that I need to get out and I have deadlines and I really just cannot vlog every single day right now so I don't know if I'm gonna get back to it honestly I don't even know if I've vlogged every day so I might end up com um, putting all of these together and putting it into a weekly vlog but we'll see I think um, I think I might have some footage from each day we'll see I need to um, uh, get the one from the trip done so that I can just move forward because that's what's stopping me but I do apologize for not having them up I know you guys look forward to them, just like I probably look forward to Judy's and Natural 85's and I guess those are the two I watch faithfully, but I understand, I completely understand. It's just rough right now, it's just rough. <laughs> um, but yeah, when that comes, I'm going to eat, I'm going to watch some Food Network and HGTV as normal and um, maybe talk on the phone a little bit. But yeah, I'm going to go to bed <laughs> pretty much after I eat, which when they get here. So it's 8.45. As soon as they get here, I'm going to eat that. And literally maybe 10 minutes, I'll be up and I'm done. So hopefully I'll be in the bed by 10. We shall see. I hope you all are blessed and doing well. I do miss talking to you guys. And I will make an effort to get these done. I promise. Okay. Bye has something to say. I miss you guys too. My mommy isn't doing her job. Get on that mommy. Okay, I will. Bye. <laughs> Put some love in your curls. I'm dropping diamonds and pearls if you allow me to.